Hey, good Wednesday morning. Uh, it's only Wednesday. <sighs> okay. Uh, actually, I was laughing this morning as an aside. I, I watch Channel 2 News usually in the morning uh, with Andy Kavara and John Potter. And no offense to John, but he can be quite uh, bothersome. But today I did agree with him today. He says, it's only Wednesday. I'm like, I had the same feeling. I'm like, it's only Wednesday? <sighs> okay. But anyway, our gospel today. Is from John chapter, excuse me, 12, verses 44 through 50. And it's an interesting gospel passage. Now, you know, John is kind of hard to, on this day-to-day -day thing, John's language is really high, but trying to discern, well, what's he mean by day-to-day? -day? But it's a, it's still, it's a, it's a great passage here. Uh, it starts out with Jesus crying out, so he's yelling. Uh, yelling to probably be heard, or his energy is there. So that tells me, hey, Pay attention here. And Jesus talks about the faith. And whoever said, he says, whoever believes in me sees the Father. Whoever believes in me, not only me, but the Father. And he brings light. And 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 if you don't believe me, I'm not going to condemn you. You condemn yourself, basically what he says. But what, what's, what I'm thinking about is that, you know, what Jesus brings. He is that light. He is that wisdom. You know, and I'm, when I do some reflection back on my life, that's the part that has attracted me always is that wisdom. You know, looking back at, at the past, especially the past 20 some years since I really entered seminary, what following Christ and believing in Christ has brought me, it's brought me to a greater understanding of the great mystery of life. And for me, that great mystery of life is always about relationships. I, I struggle with relationships. I'm not always good with relationships. I, I don't always, I had never understood, or I didn't say never, but for me it was really hard to understand people and I thought I had to do a certain thing for people. And I've grown in that, uh, following the way of Christ. You know, his teachings on wisdom, on forgiveness, on patience, on love, and mercy, compassion. All those are about relationships with people. And, and I've grown in my understanding of relationships and how I can be a better Son, sorry, mom. Uh, a better, uh, a better friend, a better brother, brother person, and that's where I really feel that growth in me. And I think that's the light that Jesus brings to me. It can bring to all. See, it's not again. It's never about for me. It's not about the the rules and regulations. And I'm not following Jesus to be a great Jedi master where I can use the force and, and get you guys to do things for me. For me, it's 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 that today. How do I interact with people? How do I, how do I be in this world? How do I truly be in this world? And that's where what Christ brings to me, and that's how I read this. Uh, and if I'm not following Christ, uh, I can't get myself to a, a miserable state in this world. And been there, seen it, done it. Okay. So that's where I am on this passage, and I'm hoping that. All of us, you know, we, we, we understand why we're following Christ and what Christ brings to us in a very real way. All right? Okay, guys, enjoy. Spend the rest of this Wednesday well. Uh, here in Reno, it's going to be beautiful up in the 80s already. It's, it's nice. Okay? Take care. I'm going to finish my coffee.